think is cute besides it's just beer i've been at the helm of the night society for years do you really think a couple of beers are gonna have any effect on me oh no my mom <laughs> we are back today with fan favorite and one of my favorite stories on the episode app stay the night by the amazing author all great see if you have not seen the other ones go catch up on them our poor character Luna got a phone call that her mom was in an accident and it was the first time that she missed the phone calls because she was sleeping and because it was the first time she decided to party. She finally let loose and decided a party and something bad happened and now she's panicking but Cam's in her roommate slash crush. There's a little thing going on between them. Drove her to the hospital and now they're staying together and now she asked him to stay the night. Not like that, unfortunately, but... We're going to see what happens. We're going to see if her poor mom is okay. And we're going to see what heats up between the two of them. But I hope you guys are excited. Please go follow the amazing author over right here. Instagram is in the description box down below. Without further ado, let's start the drama. They're in the same bed. Okay. It's, it's a little awkward. It's a little awkward between them. But we're going to move past this. Calm the F down, Camden. Luna is in a vulnerable place right now. She just wants someone to be here for her. What's she thinking? Sorry, the bed is kind of small. You're going to have to cuddle. You need to stop that. I could feel the bed sinking as Camden shifted. His weight. Stop what? Apologizing for everything. I like that it's small and cozy. I'm sure you do, Camden. It has its charms. Why do I get the feeling that he's not talking about the bed anymore? You heard your mom, Luna. Go to sleep. I can't. What if nothing bad is going to happen to her? I promise. I eyed the tiny gap between us. On the spur of the moment, I was the one who suggested we get into bed together. I didn't mean for it to be like that, I just didn't want to be left alone with my thoughts. But Camden understood what I meant anyway, and it was amusing to see him try to keep his distance in this tiny bed. You know what we gotta say, that Camden is very respectful and we love to see it. What are you thinking about? The gap between us. Oh. The words slipped out of my mouth, she just really opened up. I mean... He gave me a small smile. Do you want me to get to close the gap between us? Yes, please. What? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Without realizing I've gotten used to being held by him. We're already, we're, we're halfway to the relationship at this point, y'all. See, it was unexplainable, but I felt incredibly safe in his arms. It was the one place I could be vulnerable. Okay. She, there have my mums or everything. Okay, we're trying to get all hype and this is, this is cute and innocent. Okay, we're getting a flashback. Okay, I had a hard time remembering stuff when I was younger because you apparently died, so. But their smiles were the first thing I remembered. Their love is unconditional. Her moms are so sweet, but that made it even more burdensome. They never had any expectations for me, but I've always wanted to be enough for them. That's why I've always lived my life as the perfect daughter. And that's also why the Alderidge Scholarship and your mother's deal are so important to me. I like to think that if I'm worth something, if I'm not a burden to them, then they never find a reason to abandon me. Oh, Luna, Luna, I know, I know it's silly. I just don't want to be left alone again. But if something bad were to happen to my mom tonight... Oh, I feel so bad. I'll be by your side. Camden is so sweet. We finally got a little insight into Luna. We've known about this for a little bit now, but it might be good for Camden to hear that because I think they spoke about why she's like babysitting him for the extra million dollars, but now he can really understand. But I couldn't bring myself to say those words. You need to. We're ready. Okay, so this is because the last time I made that promise, I went back on it. So this is his past where his childhood friend, whose name was Luna, and looked exactly like Luna, passed away. Mm-hmm, yeah. Something's not adding up here. It felt surreal that I was finally laying in bed with Luna again, but this was not how I expected it to happen. Come to think of it, all this is unlike me. Things have gone hopelessly awry since my mother planted her beside me, and I know I'm supposed to hate it. But you don't. You're loving it. You're loving every moment of it. And I wonder if he's going to fall asleep. But I don't. He's going to fall asleep. He has insomnia. Not anymore. Okay, so we're going to get some good sleep. So hopefully we have some good news in the morning. I really hope we do. So they slept. Okay, phone call. Mom. What is it? What did she say? Oh. Mommy woke up, oh my gosh, y'all, for a second when it did the dramatic pause and zoom, 
I thought she was going to burst into tears. She's all right. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. They really have me thinking. I really thought. I'll drive you to the hospital. And I'll get you into my brother's shirt to change into. Okay. And they have their cute little moments. But, oh, my goodness. Mommy, you're all right. Uh, not so fast, young lady. Don't you mommy me. I can't believe you came all the way back home because your mom freaked out and exaggerated my condition. It's only your first week of college. Exaggerated? I was not exaggerating. The doctor said you had a minor concussion, Margot. If anything, you're taking this too lightly. But you didn't have to alarm Luna. At least Han was spared. He must have frightened the poor child. Look at her. <laughs> it's okay, everybody. Oh, I'm so happy she's okay. My silly girls. Now, what's this about a boy driving you home? You had a concussion, mommy. You really should be resting. Don't change the subject, young lady. I'm not resting until I get more details about him. Are you sure she had a concussion? She sounds way too energetic. The doctor said she's in the clear now. <clears throat> so tell us. Who is this boy? Oh, she's on the spot now. Mom is ready. I can't tell her that Kant is my roommate. They still think that I'm living in a dorm. He's definitely not my roommate for sure. I am so not living in an apartment with him. <laughs> I thought we threw that one out there because... Just to like throw it out there because they're going to know. Camden's just a friend and he just happened to be with me when mom called. So he volunteered to drive me here. And he did stay the night, but... Bring him to us. <laughs> uh, ten missed calls from Zane. Oh, gosh, I totally forgot about the night society last night. Night society was canceled last night. Not cool, bro. Shit, I'm so sorry. First you broke our history, then you let those unwanted freshmen in, and now you completely bailed on us. I know it's not obligation for you to host us every night, but a heads up would have been nice. Sorry, did you guys manage to find somewhere else? I found a pub for the kids to settle at, but it's definitely no night society. Val was a no-show last night, too. Uh, I've been meaning to tell you about our flooded apartment. A little too late considering Shirty sure crashed at my apartment last night. How bad is it? Are we talking about the plumbing or Val's actual waterworks? Seriously, what's going on with you? Luna had a family emergency, so I drove her home. We're still at the hospital, so... So the night society is off tonight, too. Yeah. Is Luna the one the roommate your mother hired? At the risk of sounding absolute cross, why are you putting so much effort into her? Uh, and I've never felt more refreshed. It's unbelievable, really. Oh, at least one of us... It's not like that. <gasps> Camden, I'll call you back. What's wrong? My mom's want to talk to you, but there's something you have to know before you meet them. Uh, <laughs> name? Camden Aldridge. Aldridge? As in the Aldridge of the Aldridge Scholarship? How did you meet our daughter? Oh, we are most definitely not roommates. <laughs> Their answers match up match a little too well. We've talked about this for years now. We're one woman down tonight, but you know what you have to do, right? Oh no, what's gonna happen? A drunk man tells Nola. <laughs> this is why I love her moms. Thank you for inviting me to stay for dinner tonight. It's the least I can do to thank you for driving Luna home. You really don't have to stay. I've already taken up enough of your time. I can just take a train back to Yale tomorrow. It's fine. I've, it's been a while since I've enjoyed a home-cooked meal. Yes, stay for another night. Return to Yale together tomorrow. She's up to something. I just know it. So Camden, Luna tells us you're a final year business major, right? Can you tell me what are different taxes a company has to pay? I'm asking for a friend of mine who's interested in starting her own business. <laughs> Only a person of intellect can match up to our daughter. Why is she asking him that out of the blue? It's not like he has the answer. He doesn't even attend his lessons. Off the top of my head, you can choose to ignore her. Individual income taxes, corporate income taxes, payroll taxes, and capital gains taxes. He knows his stuff. There's also sales taxes, gross receipt taxes, value-added taxes, and excise taxes. Luna shook. I think we're all shook. He's really just listing them all off. Not forgetting property taxes, tangible personal property taxes, estate and inheritance taxes, and wealth taxes. But that's just the textbook answer. It really depends on the type of business she's looking at and her property rights. Wow. Wow, he's absolutely right. How? What about? That's enough, mom. Let's just eat. <laughs> Why are all the dishes so salty tonight? It almost goes too well with the beer. 
you realize what she's doing right. She's trying to get you drunk. I think it's cute. Besides, it's just beer. I've been at the helm of the night society for years. Do you really think a couple of beers are going to have any effect on me? Oh no. My mother... <laughs> My mother thinks so lonely of me that she hired a babysitter for me. Can you believe that? I'm 22. Do you know how embarrassing that is? I loathe her so much that I can't even bring myself to call her mom. You can call me mom. <laughs> Son. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think both of you had enough to drink now. You're not too bad, son. You have my approval to date our daughter. That's enough. Off to bed now. Both of you. Will you show our guest to Han's bedroom? I can't believe you had him sleep on the couch last night. It must have been so uncomfortable for him. Uh, yeah, he totally slept on the couch last night. I love how they had a bonding. A couple of beers aren't going to have any effect on me. Oh, my, your mother drinks better than a sailor. She's got my utmost respect. You didn't have to entertain her, but I enjoyed myself. I never would have been able to do that with my own mother. And your mother's okay now. It's worth celebrating. Aw. Kansen, I've been meaning to ask you this, but why are you so nice to me? It's already enough that you volunteered to drive me here, but you stayed the night with me, you played along with my story in front of my mums, and you even stayed for dinner. That makes it two nights in a row that you missed the night society. You didn't have to do any of that, so why? Isn't it obvious? I did all that to get you to sleep with me. Um, disappointed that that's my answer? You were right after all. I'm not a nice guy. Except I knew that he was lying. There were times I didn't get him. Why does he insist on living up to his reputation? He isn't the kind of person everyone makes him out to be. He's a huge softie at heart, so why? What would it take to call his bluff? Good night, Luna. Sleep with me. <gasps> what? You succeeded. I want to sleep with you tonight. You mean like how we did it last night? No, I want you to. Oh! <gasps> 